Big breaking news that's coming in right now here on India Today. We've told you first, uh, Nitin Gadkari will remain the road transport and highways minister. Uh, considering the kind of uh, work that he's done, considering how he's driven by passion, essentially, when it comes to this particular ministry and this department, uh, it seemed but obvious that Prime Minister Modi would choose him to continue as the road transport and highways minister. Chetan Bhutani of Business Today is with us on this broadcast. Chetan, good evening. What are you picking up from your sources? You are the one who, of course, told us and got us this big news break uh, of Nitin Gadkari remaining, retaining his ministry. Well, absolutely, Ankita. Uh, Ms. Samta and other two people are definitely poised to be the MOS in Nitin Gadkari's transport world, Bhavan, which is the Minister of Road Transport and Highways. Uh, three to four key pointers uh, that my sources are telling me would be the key priority for Nitin Gadkari uh, would be to re reduce accidents on road by 50% because India has also given this target and mandate to reduce 50% reduction in road accidents since the 2030. Secondly, India is now planning to have a record construction of highways. Remember the Bharat Mala Pariyojana, which Nitin Gadkari spearheaded, is eventually getting more projects on board and including aggressive highway construction. We have seen a three to four world class highway uh, expressways being built by the uh, Nitin Gadkari's NHAI and other related agencies as well. So three to four, uh, uh, my sources are telling me, are the key priorities for Nitin Gadkari. I'm told that he'll be taking charge tomorrow morning. Uh, timing is not yet confirmed, but yes, uh, uh, Nitin Gadkari has retained the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways along with two Minister of State. Okay, Chetan confirming for us that Mr. Gadkari then will go ahead and take charge tomorrow morning. Uh, so immediately hitting the ground running. He's, of course, been someone who's really driven infrastructural change in the country. So not really surprising that this is a decision that's been taken by Prime Minister Modi. Chetan, just quickly, any other names that you've been able to pick up on who's uh, getting what? Uh, well, Ankita, you know, there's, there's not been much clarity. There's a lot of rumors on social media altogether that uh, Mr. Rajnath Singh is actually reaching uh, the Ministry of Defence. But yes, again, uh, no clarity we are having on what all uh, cabinet portfolios is the top five and the CCS would be heading. But yes, definitely we are having more details on what Ministry of Road Transport and Highways could look like. We have two MOS and we have the Cabinet Minister, Mr. Nitin Gadkari. As far as other ministries are con concerned, a lot of rumours going around in social media and of course in the journalist local circle as to who can be the possible finance minister, the future of Nirmala Sitaraman, in fact, also angry trade. Uh, we also know that J.P. Nadda, Shivrat Singh Chauhan and other leaders would be given a plum portfolios considering the hard work they have done uh, for the BJP on the ground to retain as many seats as possible. But yes, the top cream, uh, Krem da Krem is definitely going to the BJP and with uh, Tamta and Harsh Malhotra getting MOS rank, uh, Mr. Gadkari has now retained the Minister of Road Transport and Isaac. This is what we have been confirmed by our sources. All right, Chetan, thanks very much for getting us all of those details. Chetan Bhutani first telling us on India Today uh, that Nitin Gadkari has retained the Road Transport and Highways Ministry. Ashwarya, coming back to you, it's expected that as far as, you know, the senior leaders are concerned, we could see uh, a lot of retentions, essentially, of some of the ministries that they represented in Modi 2.0. Yes, Akshita, and there is a very valid reason for us to believe that it will happen because if you see what uh, work has been done by the major ministries, and this is something that the Prime Minister and the top BJP leaders have been speaking about again and again. If we speak about finance, then from the fragile five, India has now moved to the top five. And that is something that Prime Minister now, Narendra Modi now wants to make a change in. Now, from the fifth number, in the next five years, he wants to bring India to number three. He wants our country to be in the top three economies of the world. So for that, you know, there is a possibility Nirmala Sitaraman might continue as the finance minister. We have seen the kind of, uh, you know, uh, giving back of sorts has been done by the external affairs minister, S. J. Shankar. Time and again, he's spoken about the fact that India is a strong country and the Western countries, the European countries, cannot dictate the way in which India should behave. We all saw how the war took place and there was a lot of pressure on India. So, you know, making sure that the pressure is at bay and India thinks about itself first. So all those things were done by both both Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the External Affairs Minister. We have also seen how crucial things were being done by the Home Ministry, Amit Shah in charge of that ministry. So all these things were spoken about by the Bharatiya Janata Party and Prime Minister Narendra Modi would like to make sure that the pace at which things were working, the pace continues. So this will be the, the best thing uh, that will happen for Modi 3.0, Modi Sarkar 3.0 would be to make sure that there is continuation because that is what Prime Minister has been speaking about defence also. One of the other areas where the 
the country, uh, keeping at bay what's taking place with regards to China, what's happening with regards to Pakistan. That is also something that has been taken care of. So the top ministries, the CCS as we call them, will be retained by the Bharti Janta Party because these will be the pillars on which the road ahead, the bridge ahead for the next five years will be built on.